Well, there are two American classics, vintage cars and baseball, and you can see them both this Friday at Whitaker Bank Ballpark. We're happy to be joined by Michael Allison, the on-field announcer for RBIs and RPMs, and also Ken Hold from the Keeneland Concours de Elegance. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank what you for a great combination. Tell us what is RBIs and RPMs? Well, a vision that I had as a fan of obviously Legends Baseball and then of course classic cars, um, it's classic Americana and why not put them together? Uh, and Ken was nice enough to get the Kingland guys behind it and it's turning its wheels, uh, no pun intended, and having <laughs> um, going to be a pretty great time. It sounds like it. Ken, this does sound like it's just a, a perfect marriage of, of two things that people love. Absolutely. Uh, folks can always identify with uh, the first baseball game and they can identify with the first uh, fun, fun car that they were either in or owned. Before we learn a little bit more about this event, tell us a little bit about what Keeneland Concour is all about. Basically, uh, we started the Keeneland Concour 12 years ago. Uh, as an event for the Lexington car community. Uh, we've tried to get more people involved uh, and so what you find us uh, uh, today is we actually, although the Concours is in, in July 18th, it's always the third Saturday in July at Keeneland Racecourse, um, we get involved in activities all year long and we have a uh, first of the month uh, uh, we, with some of the car clubs uh, the first Saturday uh, mm -hmm. uh, every month. Uh, and uh, get together at, at different locations. Uh, we also uh, then have events like the Maserati Mingle, which we just had downtown, which was, which was fantastic. This opportunity coming up with the ballpark saw us being able to expand and, and meet a whole bunch of people who have passions in other areas and just, the, just well, cars. Well, you, you talk about that passion. What is it? What is the appeal for people to come out and look at these kind of cars? Uh, it's, it, it's across the spectrum because for some people it's a piece of art. For some people, it's a major hobby. For some people, it's an obsession. I mean, I can remember back my, my first 1957 Ford, and it's just always have this in my eye. And, and uh, no matter who you talk to, the passion is there. And they say, oh, yeah, my uncle had one, or my cousin, or uh, whatever. Yeah, it brings back the past. This is a great location to have something like this. Absolutely. And I, <laughs> we have a gorgeous parking lot. We host SCCA racing events out there mm -hmm. when non-baseball games are going on. And we had an opportunity to um, try to marry the two. And uh, luckily, I came on full time back in February. And my passion for both uh, kind of put me at the forefront of it and led to sitting on this couch with you guys. That is wonderful. So other classic car clubs are welcome? Absolutely. So give us the uh, particulars. When do people come out and when, when is the big event? Well, the, the car show itself is 5 to 7 on Friday, uh, June 12th. Um, you can, our parking lot will be open. Uh, you can get advanced tickets um, through calling the Lexington Legends, calling myself, um, or you can just come the day of and pay the normal general parking admission, and we're going to have a special area roped off, so as people come in, um, it's just an added bonus, so they can walk through, see a little car show prior to going in and seeing some great baseball. A perfect day. Absolutely. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for in. having us. Thank you, Barbara.